Hey there you guys, welcome back. Today we are going to be looking at the dahlias. Do you remember last fall we dug up these dahlias? And uh, I don't know, they fell apart and I just ended up storing them in the basement just in this. Just in this tray. And I uh, didn't have any peat moss, didn't have any other um, other media, no, uh, no wood shavings, no anything. So uh, I was kind of leery. I thought that they would just uh, dry out um, and get all shriveled and, and not look very good. Well, that's not the case. As you can see here, I've got a nice growth growing on there like a potato. Also, on some of these uh, little roots that people said probably would not grow because they needed uh, a bit of the base, uh, we've got a little sprout here. Actually, on this one, there's there's a few a few growths. I don't know whether you're able to see it here, but off to this side, there's a, another little red spike there. But uh, what else is here? This one here is doing amazing. Look at that. It's got three three growths. And then this one here, I didn't think that this one would have anything, but uh, this one here is also starting to grow. Can you see that? So we're going to plant these in the garden. I've already planted one, so I'm just going to dig a hole and then uh, plant them so that the uh, the crown is about an inch under the ground. I don't want to plant them too, too deep, so I'll take you along and we'll, uh, we'll plant these up. We'll just dig a little hole. I had some cinnamon on the ground here just because uh, we had ants. Cinnamon is great for getting rid of ants. They were gone within a day. It smells nice now that I'm digging in it. <laughs> it smells like cinnamon buns. Okay, so I got a nice size hole here. Now I'm gonna take the, uh, the root here. We're going to make sure that it fits in the hole. So I'm gonna have to dig a little bit more. There we go. This one doesn't have to be deep because they fan out as you can see. So I'm just going to plant it in there, make it about two inch or sorry, one inch below the ground, and it's great. Normally I would plant these sooner, but uh, I didn't have any time unfortunately. So also I'm gonna put a label in there. This one is dinner plate dahlia. No, this is a this is the uh, chocolate one. This is a brown or a purple uh, dahlia. So we'll put this in there, and we'll just give it a good water, and uh, we should be good to go. More water than that. <laughs> So until next time everybody, happy growing. And it will dry out. They dry out really, really quickly. Uh, you'll find that when you water, the water just goes around the pot and just out. So this is a method to my madness. I saw this in a, in a container gardening book. They didn't actually use a 